Hello and cheers. This is Chicago Reacts and I'm your bartender, Lauren. Uh, today, I think for the first time, I am going to be reacting to alcohol related content. What? So this is a uh, cold ones. It is they're going to be trying the world's strongest alcohol. And I was just like, you know what? Uh, people have asked me to respond to cold ones or they've asked the channel in general to start responding to cold ones stuff. There were several people who asked about it. And like the first thing I saw was they're trying the world's strongest alcohol. So I was like, well, I mean, kind of perfect. I had never heard about them before until people started requesting it. So I'm very excited to get going on it. So I've got my bourbon um, today. And I, again, use my pecan bitters. See, my chicory pecan bitters. They're very tasty, very good. They make even like sort of harsher bourbons or whiskeys. They smooth it out just a little bit and make it easier to drink. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what the world's strongest alcohol is. So let us begin. Can we drink this? Oh. It's just fuel, it's just... That was a lot of bottles on that table. Hi, I'm Chad. Hi, Chad. What's your name? Jace. <laughs> Is it? Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to That feels video. like a joke. Today, we've searched far and wide in every corner of the edge of the earth and parts of the globe to find bottles of liquor, but not just any bottle of liquor. Liquor that might kill us. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And my name is Dee. Yeah, so we have alcohol from all over the globe that scales up to a very high lethal percentage. But we're going to start small with some motor oil. <laughs> it's only 40% uh, gin. No. It just looks like this. It says made in Italy. It has a hashtag. Our hashtag engine. Pure organic gin, number one. We're going to pace ourselves. No, we're not. We're not, do we're not doing no, too we're not. much. There we are. Because once we get into the uh, the really fatal stuff. Fa hey, buy th hey sh the shirt. Cool shirts. Fatal. Link on screen. What's the code, chat? Cold one. It feels like they've already started, y'all. <laughs> My name is Dace. This one is 40%. And I love that bottle. Australian dollars. Good consistency, nice and clear. Shut the fuck up. Cheers. Oh, I guess we should take a drink whenever they take a drink. The fuck was that? Yeah, good taste, good texture. Just tastes like gin. Mm. Nothing special. All right, not bad. It's gin. It's cool. All right, nice bottle, nice drink, nice flavor. Good grog. All right, put this one behind us, Chris, and bring us to the next one. So... Uh, Jin and I have a very fun relationship, mostly because there's a joke that I heard at one point about Jin that now lives in my brain rent free. And it was a story that I was reading and in it, there's two characters. There's an American guy and a Russian woman, and they're talking about, you know, their drinks. And she mentions, and he, you know, he makes a joke that she likes vodka because she's Russian. And she's like, actually, no, I prefer Jin. And his whole thing is like... <laughs> She's like, ah, you're a freaking stereotype. You stereotype of me. And he's like, what? You'd rather that uh, you you ta have a drink that tastes like a Christmas tree? It's just punched you in the face. And so now, and now when I hear about gin or drink it or make a drink with it, I'm just like, it very much does kind of feel like a Christmas tree is punching you in the face. And I cannot think about anything else. So it, just, it always makes me laugh just a little bit, mostly inside my head. But the number of people that I have told that to is not zero. Fun, I reckon. So this next drink is a Hinata small batch Japanese gin. Pretty. It's 47% and it costs 149.99 Australian dollars. 100 and what? What are we, rich? It's a cool bottle, but like, is it worth $140? It's like yeah. uh, an urn or something. Yeah. I'll put your ashes in here when we're done with it. Let's see if it tastes as sweet as it looks. It looks like some shit you'd see ah. in your grandmother's liquor cabinet. It's got a nice floral ah. I have a bottle like that. It, it was had wine in it though. Oh, you're stronger than me. <laughs> oh, was it, was it, smells like flowers That's or juniper. Flowers. Listen, we have how many how bottles? How much shit do we have to go? This is, is what are you trying to kill us? What is this percentage? Forty-seven percent. What the fuck? This shit's jumped up seven percent already. Oh, hey, sweet. before we came in here, he was saying let's not even drink it. Yeah, What's he was that? like let's just test taste it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Grandma's floral grog. Mm. No, they're going in though. Oh wait, no. Wow. Ooh, it's got a weird aftertaste. Yeah. Kind of tastes a little bit like Sambuca. It's like they've uh, snipped the top of the carrot off. Just chuck the green bits in. <laughs> this is good. This would probably be my new favorite bottle of gin. 
This is good. What? It tastes like fucking hog shit. Nah, it doesn't. It tastes alright. My name is Dees. Next up, we have a classic Smirnoff vodka. It's the blue 100 proof version. <laughs> 50% alcohol and it costs $79.99 Australian dollars. I've never seen a rare blue Smyrna. Me neither. Me neither. There are there are some bottles that you can't legally get in Australia and that we did commit fraud. We <laughs> legally can't buy it here, but how did, how did you import it? Is it legal or what? I think that if customs had seen it, they would have seized it. Okay. Finally. Fin the only thing that I've ever had that I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to have, like customs definitely would have taken it, um, is a Cuban cigar. I don't know if the statute of limitations is gone on that, but I mean, because I didn't buy it, but I did, I did smoke it, um, and it was good. <laughs> like it was, that was some good shit, y'all. That Cuban cigar. Mm. I've only had the one, and it was many years ago, because I was involved in a production um, that took place on a Cuban uh, cigar rolling. Uh, farm like that was like that was like the job of the characters in the show and so the director of the show when he had gone to Cuba to sort of research what it is to be working on a uh, cigar or like a plantation like that he brought back Cuban cigars for everybody <laughs> it was like that freaking thick and again pretty sure that was not supposed to be in America but it was really good y'all so I'm curious to see which are the things that they have that are not supposed to be in Australia. Um, also, Smirnoff, like, I, I guess it probably is good. I don't know. I've never really liked Smirnoff vodka. Like, it's never been. It feels like such a college vodka to me. And, like, the idea that there's one that, you know, is ex this expensive um, kind of boggles. <laughs> it had better be good. It had better be good. Because I only ever use Smirnoff like in in mixers and even then i prefer kettle or tito's or something instead blue, blue smirnoff off. what's regular smirnoff 40 42 this is triple distilled and 10 times filtered through hardwood charcoal 100 proof vodka with equally smooth and full-bodied finish so All right. it's just more expensive more alcohol vodka my name is dees <laughs> Chad, what are you doing? Why are you free pouring it? It's just vodka? Okay, what is it? Okay. He's familiar with what vodka is, so this one doesn't matter. Even though it's the highest one we've done. Cheers. Oh, that goes down easy. Yeah, well, okay. That's better than, yeah, yeah, that's better than regular spun. Okay, I good to know. That's higher. Do you reckon that's because it's I think filtered it's, more? Uh, whatever it is, it's higher quality that makes it smoother. Uh, good to know. Because again, Smirnoff is one of those that is just like, it's always so harsh. It feels really, really harsh. On like it, it, oh, it, That's the one that hurts your tongue. So a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like vodka. It's like, that's because you drink Smirnoff, honey. Like, drink something better than that. What's next on the list? All right. I love that he's got a white claw next to him. I knew that they had started ahead of time. I wonder how many white claws they had before they went going. 52.9% Highland Park wow. 17 year old single malt scotch whiskey. Oh. It costs $400. Oh my God. And they had better not put this over ice. I'm sorry. They had better not put this one over ice. Limited edition. Oh. I like that. There's only 28,000 bottles of this. And it's 17 years old and it's in a wooden case do nice. not don't Scott, you spoil us mate names then gave they to noon and twilight morning they named shut up is this a biblical bottle of alcohol i don't know what the fuck that means so, don't break it it's, my name is d look at the d okay summer oh uh, it's the same just dog uh, shit it's, it's a bunch of poems <laughs> It's a bunch of horse shit. Oh, that's nice. Remind you of the holly foil. Yeah, like that. Hub. I like that. Fuck you, Scott, for spending so much money. The bottle is um, solid glass. It's got a raised front. Very nice. Oh, I want it. It's distilled in Highland Park. Why is he free pouring? No, no, no. Like, what is Stop the it. Because, like, look how much he's poured into mine. What? what? Okay. Cheers. I'm pouring the next one. Mmm. <laughs> Smoky. <laughs> Put some fire in your belly. Hey, what's that funny thing? Oh, I love scotch. Red belly? Red belly? Uh, it hurts me that they put it over ice to start. Like, okay, things like um, like scotch, whiskey, bourbon. The first one, don't put it over ice. You have to give it like the little taste neat. You have to like that is. Ellie, okay, that's my opinion, I suppose. But like, 
Ugh, don't the first time you taste it don't put i mean i like I said my bourbon this is redemption bourbon it's okay it cost me 25 dollars because the guy at the liquor store told me that if i paid him cash he'd give it to me for 25 instead of the listed price so i did that because of course i did but like you know you try it first neat and then you go and then you drink because like four roses whiskey and bourbon all at four roses always neat always neat never over ice because it's it, Anyway, brown liquor, always try it neat first. <laughs> mm, smoky whiskey. I, I don't think it's worth $400. Aww. You're paying for the packaging, not the actual whiskey. Bummer. Next up, we have a 55% Troma Cinco Cinco still Blanco tequila. Oh, this hurts that they're oh. going to now to tequila. $10. Chad's not free pouring this one. Fuck that. This looks syrupy. Nuts. No. It looks refreshing. Yep, there's a bottle. Look, it's not much to say about this. No. It's made in. Who gives a shit? Let's drink this sucker. All right. If you're the one that wanted to spend 20 minutes fucking on every single. Hey! Ah. This one don't have a pamphlet or a box. Oh. <laughs> mm, really? The horse said. Uh, yeah, that was ironic. Like, this uh, bottle sucks. Look, it wobbles. Wait, does it? Oh yeah, that's, that's a rounded bottom. I think that might be on purpose though. For Why? What purpose does that serve? Easy to fall off the shelf at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's put that away, okay? Before you hurt yourself, all right? On the count of three, say your favorite Mr. Beast friend. Three, two, one. Carl Jacobs. Jacobs. God. Damn it. All right. I don't know what that is. Oh! Fuck, that'll make anyone immortal. It tastes exactly how you'd expect. There's nothing like, I don't know. It's made out of a cactus. Frog check. <laughs> how you feeling? Right? I'm a two out of 10, Buzz. I'm more than that. Next up. Yeah, you are. 2005 transcontinental rum line Barbados, 13 year old Cass. Carson? 13? <laughs> For $240. 59% alcohol. When you're trying to hit your, your, your word <laughs> yeah, account for an assignment. <laughs> I wish I could say that normally. That would be almost funny. When you're trying to when hit the word count, count for your, your essay. essay. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, it's a rum. Rum drinkers beat their wives. This motherfucker got a whole boat on it. Aged in Europe for two years, aged in the tropics for 11 years. Why'd they move it? Barbados. Yes. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I only drink rum in like two, two specific drinks, one of which is a mojito. I like a, a white rum for a mojito um, or like any kind of mojito. We do this one that's a passion fruit mojito that is really good if you want something maybe a little bit sweeter than a classic mojito. But then also mm, I make a very dangerous uh, apple pie punch that uses spice drum and fireball along with apple cider and it is very dangerous and scary and many people have tried to keep up with me when I drink it and they drink it and they can't and it's distressing for them but it's funny for me <laughs> and it's really good you guys it also is really potent Fuck. bubble these nuts kind of say it smells vanilla -y. other than that i'm not a rum fan like yeah Pretty smooth, actually. Yeah, not bad at all for 59%. I, I think um, that's because before this we did the tequila. That's sort of a scary one if you were drinking that on the night and you didn't know. Yeah. They go really good in a cocktail. That's good. All right, what's the next on the list, Scott? So the next one is a Shea Villier 14-year EMB Plumber Continental Aged Cast Strength Rum. This one is 64% Jesus. and costs $260. It's 64.8. We're getting serious now. There's no more fluffing around here. What does this one look like? Anything cool? Nah, it just looks like a bottle of fuck it. You know what it looks like? That looks like it should be in a hospital. I describe, prescribe, oh my god, I'm drunk. I have this bottle of rum. You're they're, all, they're not even halfway done, you guys. I mean, you're wasted already. Let me brush your hair. Oh, I love that sound. Why is this one so clear? Let's get that medical grade. Because it's a white rum, Boys, apparently. I, Mario be drinking it. Ooh. E. Uh, easier than the tequila still. Yeah, so, still. A little bit. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Most things flavor. are. That one had a, a vanilla. Uh, that like had a, a banana. That had a better flavor. This just tastes like I don't like nothing. So next up, we have a Stag Junior Barrel Proof Straight Bourbon Whiskey, and this one was two hundred and ninety nine dollars. And it is 67% alcohol. Distilled, aged, and bottled by Buffalo. I doubt that. <laughs> John T. Stagg was born in Kentucky in December 1980. By Buffalo Trace Distillery. <laughs> Buffalo.
I like Buffalo Trace Distiller. I like that. I like their stuff more or less. I don't usually buy it for myself. Buffalo Trace for me is always something that I'm more likely to put into a cocktail or take as a shot. I don't usually drink it by itself. Um, but I like I like that he stopped reading the first line. And also I like that they did. <laughs> I like how they did that. Buffalo Trace Distillery. <laughs> Funny. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> How much did you say this was, Scott? 65. They're different for every bottle. That's why it's like handwritten on there. That's kind of cool. Oi, check this out. Oh, I love that sound. What's this one like? Come on, Oh, I don't smell anything. Oh, I feel like that I'm getting lit. Sorry, what was this dude's name again? Oh, yeah, George T. Stag. Fuck him. Let's try out the old George Stag. Hey, the George Stag. Legend. We'll see if he's a legend. That's good. I'm going to chase it because it's 65%, but it's good. PewDiePie would like that. So how are you guys feeling? Um, uh. I'm trying to gauge how far away it's catching up. Yeah. If we sat down for 10 minutes, would we then feel like, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, Yeah. All right, boys, it's the top four. Oh, the top four. Let's yeah. go. Terminus Oxygen A. At oh, absent. $9.68% alcohol. Oh, no. That sounds good. Look at the bottle. That seems like some shit that they'd be having as, like, ceremonial shit. This motherfucker got a cork in the middle, bruh. Yeah. Hey, Prezzo, put the Hammer Bros on screen. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Oh, she's doing it with a knife. A cork and, and a drill? Why don't you have a wine key? The Hammer Bros in on screen again. <laughs> Well, there we go, Max. I hope you like cork. Look, it works. Hey, Preza, <laughs> put the wiggler from my What? Walking past the front there. Where's the absinthe bottle? It's right in front of you. Oh, fucking. It's about to drink. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Cheers. You're a real one. Cheers. What? <laughs> Mmm, licorice. Yeah, it's got like that mm. initial disgusting and then it's just like you've had a Ooh, bit of licorice. Yeah, yeah at the end. Let's have nice. another. See, I've heard that absinthe is kind of similar to Malort. And if you've had one, the other isn't quite as terrible. And I've had quite a lot of Malort. But Malort does also taste a little bit like paint thinner meets hand sanitizer. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that because if anyone goes to Chicago and you haven't been here before, someone will offer you a Chicago handshake, which is a shot of Malort in like an old style usually. Um, sometimes there's a different Chicago cheap beer, but often it's an old style. So if you come to Chicago and someone offers you that, I will tell you know what? Spill in the secrets. Malort is bad. And if someone offers you that, it's because they want to see you wince. So now you've been forewarned. Sorry. <laughs> do it, though, because otherwise you're a pussy. But do it and then just don't let it show on your face. And then you're going to be cemented as a badass. So just do that. Come on, that shit busting, Chad. Now, one more. Chad has one. I will not. I'm a real man. Facts. Comment below. Chad's the biggest man on the show. <laughs> Head. Man. Hey, don't you nope. have a flight at 6 a.m.? Got a drunk flight before. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have one more shot with me. Chad, we're going. You have more to do. Yuri. Come on, bro. I have a little bit of absence in your life. Fathers, they be getting lit on the absence. Woo. I think that one's more dangerous in terms of that's the highest one so far, and it's not the most disgusting. If you do it without ice, it is. I, I think I shouldn't have done three of those. Yeah, no. Comments on the vids, and they're like, hey, they haven't been drinking as much lately. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'll do have a drink. I think that's just 16-year-old kids being like, hey, man, I could drink you under the table, bro. Let me on the show. Fly and fly me out there, bro. Hey, man, I'm from Siberia. I, uh, let me come on the show. <laughs> I'm from the Bermuda Triangle. Can I come on the show? <laughs> Next up, we have Admiral Vernon's Old J. <laughs> the Admiral! Who the fuck is Admiral Vernon? Oh, Why no. does it look like a tiki mask? Oh, shit. It was $60. I had to import it because no, I, there was only one website that would sell it to Australia, and it's 75% alcohol. That is fucked up. Well, you reckon at the... That might have to go into my uh, punch at some point. The Admiral's ever ever met George Stagg? It feels cheap. What, how much is this? It's only 60 bucks. Yeah, this is that shit they made with motor oil and shit. That they just the admiral around. literally brewed this in his shed. Yeah. He's on his oh boat. Oh my god! Ooh. He's on his ship. He was like, I have a bit. Of Maybe not. I mean, I use Captain Morgan for my spiced rum apple pie thing. So hmm. 
I wonder I wonder how this compares to Captain Morgan other than $30 more expensive. The fucking fuel left. That smells like some spices from my cupboard. Legit. Wait, what's this thing? Like, okay. Or the UK market only. Yeah, dude, all these have black sticker dots on the back of them. Is that because we're not meant to have them? This is literally a sting that goes over this thing. Yeah. If you can manage to peel it off, it's kind of hard. It says, for the UK only. <laughs> Sticker on it, man. That's Only people in the UK can handle this rum. The customs won't fucking know. All right, are you ready for this? Let's see what you scallywags are drinking on the fucking ship. Holy fuck, man. If I was in the UK. I do have shot glasses with skulls. All right, let's see how flammable this bitch is. Oh, it's just petrol. Are we able to put this in our body? <laughs> I guess fucking built different. Scott, this is the shit I put in my fucking Nissan cube. All right, let's do it. Let's see what the Admiral's all about. <laughs> all right, to the Admiral. May you can say rest in peace. He's probably dead. Oh, oh my God. I like that. That was good. Tastes like eggnog. Yeah. Do you know this bottle has 53 standard drinks in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's a dangerous. All right. Okay, maybe I do have to get that. I'm... I'm absolutely in the United Kingdom. A hundred percent. I live in the United Kingdom. Um, I am allowed to have it, right? That's how that works. That's, yes. As long as I do an accent. <laughs> as long as I do a bad accent, I'm definitely from the United Kingdom. Chris one. Chris. I would do a shot of this over the tequila. If you put that and a thing of just shitty vodka next to me, I'd be like, eh, the vodka's fucking disgusting. Yeah. That and would be like, that's be, fine. Yeah, that's Sorry, nice. what percent is that one? 75.5. That's 75.5. You could literally put this in like a, like a lawnmower and it would run. Right. 52 cent in drinks. You'd die, right? If you drank this bottle, you'd die. Let's go take it to a house party and just pour it in the fucking punch. Let's just go kill people with guns. <laughs> Enough killing. What is next on the list? Okay, we're now up to number two on the list. Two, Jesus. two, two. 80. Can I just say, the further we get up the list, the less syllables Scott is saying. It's a strobe. It's 80%. It was $90. I'm pretty sure this is what they put around the necks of St. Bernard's. <laughs> that if you got lost in the mountain. Ah, uh, sorry. Run. A $90 bottle. And that is what percent? 80. <laughs> okay. High strength alcohol. Warning. Rapid or excessive consumption can cause injury or death. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit, 80%. Sorry, is that actually what this is? It's in the fucking name, bro. I feel like, sorry, yeah, I phased out of reality for a second. Oh my, it smells like actual petrol. Yeah, that oh is God. fuel. Of that some is kind. Fuel. That's just for like, a, like an airplane or a car. <laughs> Let's just see how flammable this one is. It's flammable because I think it's prime use is for lighting fires. It's secondary <laughs> use is for drinking. Why is it so funny when you drunk? I feel high. Yo, is, that, is that the absence? That would be absence, bro. I feel high. <gasps> oh, my name is Deese. Deese what? <laughs> Deese nuts. Ah, finally it pays off. This is like it does a not. Pink. Oh, it's melting the ice. Like the ice is like holding a lighter to it. It's just melting. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. That's a monster. That's a glass of water, but you're okay. gonna need it. All right, here we go. This Eight feels like it's gonna hurt. Chase it straight away. Sorry, Scott. The chaser did nothing. The aftertaste smells like I've been at the petrol station. The chaser did nothing. <laughs> the oh, Smel the aftertaste smells like I've been at the petrol station. I do not want. Oh, that's horrifying. I love it. And damn, am I? Ugh, I need to do something like this. I desperately need to do something like this. That would be so much fun. Just uh, yeah. fuel. Yeah, I feel like I'm pumping. That belongs in a fucking machine. <laughs> oh, don't burp. Don't burp. Don't burp. I don't know what the fuck comes after that. Death? I'm kind of cloud nining. <laughs> I'm kind of pretty good. Chad, yeah, remember, yeah. we're not on ground floor. Be very scared. I'm not high. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the final bottle. This oh, God. is Belteon 96. That sounds, that like, sounds a like a boss. That sounds like the final boss. It didn't have a type of liquor. It just says pure spirit. What the fuck are you saying? It's beyond comprehension. It's, it's ascended <laughs> past liquor status. 96%. Oh, this my shit, God. This is like Goku's fucking... Final form when you become <laughs> Ultra Instinct. This is like when Goku Three. fermented the Senzu beans in his Oh no! no. <laughs> Oi, it's kind of fitting that it's just like back to normal. To super plain, just looks like a bottle of water. It's got a very basic caution sign on it. It says, do not drink. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Undiluted. Oh, we got chases. Can we and ice. I think it's meant for cooking.
looking. I feel like you should need a license to buy this. Oh yeah, that's a bonfire. Wow. Light that bitch on fire, Chad. Yeah, I'm about to. This is a good shot of the no. game. No. No, 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 no. You're fucking idiot. I forgot about the open lid. Do not do this. Hey, that's a good shot. It's a good shot. Right, blow it out. <laughs> I almost just set off an explosive Chad's in the office. Chad's making a Molotov. Oh, oh my cool. god. Listen. <laughs> you ready? Oh yeah. no. no! I have gone through so much. Watching, hey kids, don't do this. We've been training our whole lives for this. Pussy. There you go. That's yours, mate. I didn't want any. <laughs> really? I don't want. I right, throw this out. Give him a clean glass. Nah, let me drink it. Let me drink it. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's say you're supposed to drink it diluted. You're meant to drink it diluted. Okay. To Beltion. To Beltion. Cheers. That masked it just fine. I saw another one. That's kind of fucked. I don't taste any alcohol. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, let's nah. do a shot then. On top of that, no. This is a cleanse. It does. Okay, good you ice. Shouldn't do this at home. You should not drink this undiluted. There is ice in there. It is technically diluted. Like, let the ice swirl it around for a minute, but it's technically diluted. Just have a sip, have one sip. No, 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 no. There's no difference with sipping it and finishing it. So true. I'll drink to that. If you. Finish the whole thing. Oh, it's just fuel. Oh. It's just. Oh. Oh, nah. It's just straight fucking. Oh. That's not like for human consumption. <laughs> That's. It said uh. so. Uh oh. Listen, we made it to the end. We defeated the final boss twice. That's fucked up. That I was like, that. if he's gonna puke, I'm not listening. Uh, it went in my nose. My name is Deese. Now that you guys have finished that, I have one <laughs> final. Okay. Powerful. Like, no. What? Are you joking? It's a bit. No, I'm just kidding. Thank oh, God. I was excited. Oh, really? <laughs> Thanks for watching, boys. Well, one and more girls. shot. One more shot before we go. The Admiral J's spiced rum water. May the Admiral keep brewing in the back of his fucking ship. <laughs> ah! I remember that tasting better on ice. I have that taste shitty all of a sudden. <laughs> Bruh. I'm fucking wasted. Uh, oi, by the way, um... These nuts. Very fun. Okay. All right, fine. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. People wanted me to react to some cold, some cold ones videos. They are fun. I will say that it was enjoyable. Um, and now I have several more um, drinks that I apparently need to try. Also, I want to try to do something like that <laughs> at some point, just to like try a bunch of different alcohols and just explain what it's like. I think that would be enjoyable. I think that would be fun. That would be fun for me. I enjoy drinking. <laughs> of course I do. Um, and that was, I'm not going to lie you to you, um, who saw this video. That was like the second, the second one of those. So that's fun, which is excellent because I do have to go to work now. Work in a work, go work in a bar. It's going to be fun. Um, no, that was a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I think they have a, like at least one other alcohol related one. Yes, it's called Trying the World's Most Famous Alcohol. So potentially I will also try that. I think that would be fun. I think that would be a fun video. I enjoyed watching this. If you guys have any other like alcohol related content for me to try, I think that would, you know, that would make sense. I should probably do some alcohol related content on account of my handle on this channel is bartender reacts. So I would love to do more of that. If you've got something of that nature to share with me, please do let me know. I will react to it. Um, I think it would be fun. I like to learn more about uh, my craft, about alcohol in general. I think it's enjoyable. And I like to learn about things that I might like to drink. Um, things that I can then, you know, pass along. All of that is a lot of fun for me. I enjoy it. Um, and I, it's fun to do something where people are drinking because I, the drinking game I play with myself is always, uh, I drink when someone on screen is drinking. Like, as much as I can, that is the game that I play with me. <laughs> which is occasionally really dangerous um but fun 
you know, for me, at least eventually. So yeah, if you have guys got anything like that for me to react to, please let me know. I would love to do more things of that nature. Uh, and for now, though, I don't have any more of my drink and my whiskey is all the way across the room, so I can't go and get it to cheers you with that. Um, but yeah, if you've got anything else like this for me to react to, please let me know. If you want to see me react to more Cold Ones videos, tell me. Um, this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. If you can become a Patreon, we really, really, really appreciate that. If you do become a patron, we get you a, fun, a bunch of fun little perks, you know, starting with getting your name listed uh, at the end of a video. Um, we also have polls that you can participate in that will help us decide what we react to and some other things as well. Um, we, you get unedited content of, especially of our, uh, movies and TV reviews. Um, so just like, there's lots of little fun perks if you become a patron. So appreciate you so very much, uh, regardless. Thank you. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.